As you know, my name is Kainson and I'm really super excited I've completed making this lesson on building a complete application in ASP.NET C Sharp using SQLite with zero or no coding. And this is so important to me because it's similar to the fleet management system I built at the other time, the other tutorial I made, but a, no a number of people could not follow. So I figured out a way to create an application this time with very little coding and this time we are using ASP.NET C Sharp and it's going to be completely easy. All the tools we are going to be using is free so you don't need to buy anything. It's just a smooth learning experience I promise you. Let me just show you the features of this application. So first we have the login. So I've also added the login feature. So I'm going to log into this application and we have the hospital management system there's a dashboard, all these were generated uh, for free without having to write these codes yourself. And just to show you, the template we are using is free. I'm going to just say um, um, template, uh, free template bootstrap template, free. I think I have this template to be, um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, so we have this template here, this one. So this is a template that I use for this application and you can easily download it and use. I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to get this template and set it up on your local application in C Sharp. And let me just show you one more thing about this application. First, we have this dashboard, we have the report, we have the image and we have a few other things. We have this neat navigation here. We can go to different parts of this application. Remember, a hospital information system have different parts. You have the lab, you have the appointment, you have the admissions, you have the rooms. So you have a, a you need a navigation. You need to plan the navigation so that users can go to different parts of this application. And when you build new parts, for instance, at this time, the kitchen is not ready. But when you build the kitchen feature or the diet feature, you can simply add it to the navigation and add the feature. For now, this application is ready to be used. Let me just show you about the patient list. So this is a list of patients. As you can see, it's not super, um, it's, it doesn't have all the bells and the whistles, but it's okay because it's no coding application, meaning that everything you see here is generated. I'm gonna be showing you how to generate the, the pages and the, and the codes by yourself. And now if I click on the images, you can see that we have this nice images of the patient. So if a patient comes to your hospital, he enrolls and then he, you take an image of him and you can add it here and you can easily uh, do a pop-up uh, right here to see. This is done using Bootstrap and also jQuery. Again, all the code snippets you need, they are right there. I'm going to show you right now. Now, if you go to my GitHub, just in case, you want to have the complete application, you can just go to my GitHub, GitHub Kinton, and you find the complete application in my GitHub. Actually, the link to my GitHub, you can find it uh, under this, under, in, the, in the description of this video. Meanwhile, this is what we are talking about. This hospital MS in my GitHub repository, you have everything, all the codes you need about this application. So if you miss something, can also go to check the, comp check the complete code. Another thing is that you have the step-by-step -step guide of this application. So you have this page, you have the step-by-step -step no coding guide, you have the part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, all the way to part 21, I think. So the easiest thing to do is open this page, bookmark this page, and also have the GitHub uh, repository open so that you have uh, all the codes or the completed application and as of the time I'm recording this I'm going to just show you that this application is also available for you or, or this tutorial series is also available and I'm going to show you right now so if I go to um, Firefox And I go to, actually this, where I'm going now is in the description box below. So if I go to YouTube, uh, actually, you can find in the description box. But I just want to show you the playlist of this very tutorial. 
so I'm just going to go to my channel go to my channel and if I go to playlist here all right so you have the full playlist of this video part part one all the way to part 21 uh, I think I yeah part one all the way to uh, part 21 and you can easily follow along uh, step by step now the best way to learn so you can have sorry, give me one second so the best way to learn let me just tell you a secret on how to learn effectively when you want to learn how to build an application the first thing you need to do is have the motivation to learn so don't give up because at some point it might be a bit difficult and number two try to reach me if you can because i can actually help you overcome whatever challenges you may have of course sometimes i may be busy but as much as i can i try to help out anyone that has challenges but you might have to show commitment maybe you buy me a coffee or you support me on patreon or something subscribe to my channel so that when updates are made you don't miss out this video uh this very application is in season one meaning that there are many other things we are going to add but for now i want you to build this application yourself using the methods or the steps i have right here and as i used to say uh, i'm right here for you and this is what i do i like teaching i like helping as much as i can and another thing i want to tell you is if you have any challenges please leave me a comment or try to reach me via my social network profile so basically if you go to my website you can find different ways to reach me by by uh, instagram or any other way try to reach me and i'm going to respond to you so let's dive right in and let's install everything we need and let's get started again remember to subscribe so that you don't miss an update and also try to reach me and feel free to support me by buying me a coffee or support me on patreon or in other ways so i remain kind on the tech pro and i'm always there for you and let's dive right in